Hi, I'm Emily from Loom Love. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Jingle Bracelet. To make this bracelet, you need 36 bells. This is why we call it the Jingle Bracelet. So people will always know you're coming if you're walking up behind them. To make this bracelet, you need two looms. You can use one loom, but I prefer the look for this bracelet without an extension, so I, I'm going to use two looms some clear bands, some multicolored bands, and some bells. I like to use multicolored bells because they look really neat if you pair them with the same colored band. To get your bell onto your band, you're going to take a piece of dental floss or string, place your bell onto it, there, take the same colored band, Place it on your string, take this end, put it back through the top of the bead, bell, pull both ends until it's through like that. To start your bracelet, you should have your red arrows pointing away from you and um, it should be in the stagger configuration. So you're going to take your clear bands, just place one band like that. Now you're going to go on both sides diagonally down then diagonally uh, straight up on both sides and then straight in. Push it all down. Now you're going to add your bells. Take your first colored bell t take both ends Place it on your loom. Now I'm using two different size bells. Take the other one, like that. Do the same on the other side. Now you're going to go up two, straight up twice. Now again you're going diagonally down on both sides, straight up, diagonally in, like that. Now you're going to add your bells again, make sure they're pointing outwards. Again, you're going straight up twice, diagonally down, straight up, diagonally in, and you're going to add your bells.
now once you're finished placing your last bells you're going to go up once and then place a cat band on this peg so take a band twist it double it place it on that peg here now take your loom turn it around so the arrow is pointing towards you you're going to start looping take the bottom band and loop it forwards now you're going to go into this peg here grab the top band it back to itself, the top band, and loop it back to itself. Now you're going to go through this peg, grab the bottom band, do the same on the other side. Go into this peg here, grab the bottom band, and loop it into the center. Do the same over here. Now you're going to grab the bottom band, it should be this band here. Loop it forwards and then loop this one forwards. Grab the top band, loop it back to itself. Grab the bottom band and loop it forwards on both sides. Just straighten out your bells if they're a little crooked. Bottom band. Loop it back to itself. And again, grab the bottom band, loop it forwards, loop it forwards again. So you just continue this all until you have all the bands looped. So now you're just going to loop your last band forwards. Now you're going to take a band, pull it through, make sure it's through both of these bands and just take it off your loom. Attach your sequet to this last band, then take it, your sequet and attach it to the cap band on the other side. There you have your jingle bracelet. As you can see, it jingles a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye.